when you were here last time, we talked about can anybody meditate? Because I consider myself too goofy, too loud, and too busy to chill. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, too and busy this is where to we chill. Started. I hear that a lot, right. too busy to chill. Well, I think the first thing is too loud it means we gotta meditate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also quite loud myself. I'm much like you. I have a big personality. I've got a lot going on. And so I need that meditation as this grounding focal point in my day. And so I find that the busier we are, the louder we are, the more we have going on, the more we need it. And some of my friends that have the most intense jobs have gotten really into meditation. Yes, yes. Uh, and we're in the same age group and I just see how important it is to them. Like everything else in the day comes second it has other to. than their family, of course. And you start to realize that you can actually do less and attract more into your life when you- Is that what you mean yourself. by super attractor? Like yes. what's the baseline yes. of super attractor? So super attractor baseline is the more we feel good, the more of a magnet we become for what we want. That makes sense. It totally makes sense. Think about it, you put out negative energy all day long, no one wants to work with you, no one wants to date you, no one wants to marry gonna, you, you know? Right, you're gonna have negative you're going to constantly have negative feedback coming back to you. But when you start to change that energy, you actually recalibrate yourself. You start to feel better. And then you start to effortlessly attract more of what you want. So I see a chalkboard. Are we going to get schooled in something? What we did was we asked your audience what they were most fearful of. What's the, what's the negative thought that's up for them all the time? Wow. And there was actually one third was money. That's a big one. One third was relationships. Yeah, guys, you remember, you said it. <laughs> and then one third was health. So we've got some common themes coming up here. Yep. So I wanna start to bust those, bust those themes and help you. And this is a method from Super Attractor called the three step choose again method. And this is probably one of the most important methods in the book. And so the first step is to really witness that thought and, 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 and look at that thought and identify that thought. And you guys all did that. So it's identify. Okay. So once you look at that thought, you sometimes start judging yourself being like, oh God, I've got that thought again. So the second step is to forgive the thought and forgive yourself for having the thought because we don't want to beat ourselves up for being in that negative space. We want to forgive ourselves and actually be grateful that we have the wherewithal to witness that thought because when we have that, we start to begin a new pattern, okay? So the second step is to forgive the thought. So forgive, I'm just going to write forgive. Then the final step is the most important step, which is to choose again. And this is often to just reach for the next best feeling thought or reach for a mantra or reach for an affirmation. So if you are thinking about money troubles, identify that, oh my God, I'm obsessing again yes. about the same thing. Yes. And I can't do anything about that right this minute, but calm down, forgive yourself. And then what, what would you, the next best what's feeling? This, what's the choose again? This is an excellent example. Thank you for that one. Mm -hmm. Because when we're in a money story, we can't go from I'm broke, I'm broke to I'm a millionaire. Like we just can't do that because right. you don't believe it. Right. But what you can say is I have access to the internet, which has a unlimited opportunities for me to find new resources. Or I can call that friend of mine that has a lead that I might be able so to pick up. So it's just about thinking a positive aspect of what could solve the negative thing that you're thinking. Correct. And it has to be something you believe in because if you don't believe in it it's not gonna if work. it's a fairy tale that's not it, it's not gonna work so we choose again and this is where we bring you guys in this is gonna be really fun again okay flip that card over you've been all gifted one can of I my... take one are these these are for one? you mama so these are for go. me yes okay but you're gonna pick one. Oh, I, don't, I, get I only get one well you can okay. maybe take more home okay fine. oh you got a good one joy what am I supposed to tell her not tell, tell. Tell, tell joy is the ultimate creator I would agree with that, actually. I got a good one. I picked one, too. I choose love no matter what. That's a very good one. Yes. Very good advice. <laughs> I choose love no matter what. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have our cards in our hands now, right? And right. this is a card that you can now use in the morning. You can use it uh, when you, you can slap it onto your refrigerator, whatever you need to That's do. That's where mine would be, because the thing that gives me the most joy is cooking, when, so I would be in the kitchen. That's so exactly right. So I could keep right. joy as the creator in my kitchen. That's exactly right. There you go. And then the final step is awesome, right? Focus on fun, focus on joy, focus on what's thriving. <laughs>